Hi, Bobby Thompson here with Crochet Guru, and today I'm going to show you how to crochet this fun little mouse. The materials needed to make this mouse, some worsted weight yarn in colors gray and black, a size H8 hook, and this is also a 5 millimeter hook, a yarn needle, some stuffing, the stuffing I use is called polyfill fiber, a stitch marker, and some scissors. Okay, in round one with color A, start with a magic ring or circle, place six single crochets into the ring, join by using a slip stitch into the first single crochet, and this will be a total of six single crochets. Okay, so I'm going to start out with making a magic ring. This is also called a magic circle. And if you don't know how to do this, go to my magic circle video tutorial. Okay, so when you're ready, go ahead and enter six single crochets into your magic circle. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then pull your magic circle closed. So after you close your circle, go ahead and enter a slip stitch into your next single crochet. And a slip stitch, make sure you pull the yarn both through the stitch and the loop on your hook, and that completes round one. In rounds two and three, we're going to single crochet in each single crochet around. Okay, so for my stitch marker, I'm using a strand of a different color of yarn, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my black, and I'm going to place that strand underneath the last single crochet that I just made. And that's going to keep track of my rounds. Okay, so when you're ready for round two, we're going to place one single crochet in each single crochet around. <clears throat> so there's your first single crochet into the first stitch, second single crochet into the second stitch, third into the third, four, five, and then six right, oh, right above the stitch marker. Now I'm gonna take my stitch marker out because it's gonna just be a little bit easier for me to get my hook into that stitch. And that should be the last single crochet for that round. And then I'm gonna go ahead and place my stitch marker back into my work. So go ahead and just place it underneath the last single crochet that you just made again. And I'm gonna go ahead and let you complete round three because we're just going to do that exactly the same. Place one single crochet in each single crochet around for round three. Okay, so in round four, we're going to place two single crochets in each single crochet around. So that'll be a total of 12 single crochets when we're finished. Okay, you should have rounds two and three done and we're moving on to round four. Just make sure your stitch marker's in the correct place and place two single crochets in each single crochet around. So there's one, two, and then the next stitch, place two more single crochets. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and over the stitch marker will be 11 and 12. So 11 and 12. And that completes round four. Round five, we're going to single crochet in each single crochet around, and that will be a total of 12 single crochets. Okay, so make sure to move your stitch marker up to the next round so that you can keep your place. And this round will be very simple. We're just going to single crochet in each single crochet around. So there'll be 12 single crochets all together. So starting, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, there's nine, ten, eleven, and the last one, 12, over your stitch marker. 
and that completes round five. In round six, we're going to place one single crochet into the next single crochet, and then we're going to place two single crochets into the next single crochet. We're going to repeat this six times for a total of 18 single crochets altogether. Okay, so I already moved my stitch marker up to the next round, and then the next stitch, when you're ready, place one single crochet. Now on the next stitch, we're going to place two single crochets, and we're going to continue to follow this pattern all the way around. So again, place one single crochet into the third stitch. Place two single crochets into the fourth stitch. So there's one and two. Place one single crochet into the fifth stitch and then two single crochets into the sixth stitch. And then one single crochet two, one, and then two, and then one more one single crochet, and then your last two single crochets above the stitch marker. And that will be a total of 18 single crochets, and that completes round six. In round seven, we're going to single crochet in each single crochet around for a total of 18 single crochets. Okay, so making sure to move your stitch marker up, place one single crochet into the next stitch, and we're just going to follow this pattern all the way around. So there's a two, so this will be three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15, 16, 17, and then 18 right above the stitch marker. And that completes round seven. Round eight, we're going to single crochet into the next 10 single crochets, and then we're going to place two single crochets into the next eight single crochets. And this will be a total of 26 single crochets. Okay, so this is what your mouse should be looking like so far. This is the nose and we're going to go ahead and create the body now. So go ahead and move your stitch marker up to the next round. And now when you're ready, go ahead and place one single crochet into the next 10 single crochets. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so now in the next eight single crochets, we're going to place two single crochets. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and then fifteen and sixteen, but this will be a total of 26 single crochets all together. So go ahead and count around and make sure there's 26 all together. And that will be the end of round eight. In rounds nine through 11, we're going to single crochet in each single crochet around. Okay, so rounds nine through 11 are exactly the same, so I'm only going to demonstrate round nine, and I'm gonna let you do 10 and 11 on your own. 
And just remember we're just going to place one single crochet in each stitch around. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, and then lastly twenty-six, right over the stitch marker. And that will complete round nine and go ahead and complete rounds 10 through 11 and do them exactly the same way that we did round nine. Okay, in round 12, we're going to single crochet into the next four single crochets and then we're going to single crochet two together and then we're going to place one single crochet into the next five single crochets and then we're going to single crochet two together. We're going to repeat this twice for a total of 22 single crochets. Okay, so again we're going to single crochet into the next four single crochets. So there's one, two, three, and four. Now what we're going to do is single crochet two together. So to do this, insert your hook into the next single crochet, yarn over, bring it through the stitch, insert it into the next single crochet, yarn over and bring it through the stitch. You should have three loops on your hook. Yarn over your hook again and bring it through all three loops on your hook. And that's how you single crochet two together. Okay, so now we're going to single crochet into the next five single crochets. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. And then we're going to single crochet two together again. So place your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull it through. Place it into the next stitch again, yarn over, pull it through. There should be three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull it through all three loops on your hook. So we're gonna go ahead and repeat that entire pattern one more time. So one, two, three, and four, and then single crochet two together. So you should know how to do this by now. And then go ahead and enter five single crochets into the next five stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, and five, and then single crochet the last two stitches together. And the last one should be right over your stitch marker. And that completes round 12. Okay, so now we're going to start stuffing our mouse with our polyfill fiber stuffing or whatever kind of stuffing you prefer to use. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you how I stuff my mouse. I'm just gonna grab my polyfill fiber stuffing. I'm just gonna open up the head of the mouse. And I'm just gonna start stuffing it in now at this time, you don't have to stuff it too firmly. Just kind of get it down in there. If you do it too firmly, it's gonna to be too hard to keep crocheting around your, your mouse. So just do it kind of lightly and just kind of stuff it down as far as you can. In round 13, we're going to single crochet in each single crochet around for a total of 22 single crochets. Okay, so as you single crochet around, make sure you kind of hold your stuffing in place so that way it doesn't come out of the mouse. But we're just going to single crochet in each stitch around. So this is very, very simple round. So that's the third single crochet. Four, five, six, 
seven, and notice I'm kind of holding my stuffing in place. That's eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and then make sure your last 22 is over the stitch marker, so 22, and that completes round 13. Round 14, we're going to single crochet into the next three single crochets, we're going to single crochet two together, we're going to single crochet into the next four single crochets, and then single crochet two together again. We're going to repeat this twice for a total of 18 single crochets. Okay, so go ahead and single crochet into the next three single crochets. So there's one, two, and three, and then we're going to go ahead and single crochet two together, and again you should remember how to do this. And then we're going to single crochet into the next four single crochets. So there's one, two, three, four, then we're going to single crochet two together. This is also called a decrease, a single crochet decrease, just in case you were wondering. And then go ahead and single crochet into the next three single crochets again, because we're going to repeat this one more time. So there's three, and then single crochet two together, or single crochet decrease, whichever you prefer and then single crochet into the next four single crochets. So there's one, two, three, and four, and then single crochet two together, and that will be your last decrease, single crochet decrease. That should be right over the stitch marker, and that will complete round 14. In rounds 15 through 17, we're going to single crochet in each single crochet around. Okay, so go ahead and just single crochet in each single crochet around in round 15, and I'm going to just do round 15 with you, and I'm going to let you go ahead and do round 16 and 17 because they're exactly the same as round 15. So I'm just doing one single crochet in each stitch around, and that should be a total of 18 single crochets, so when you get done, make sure you count and make sure you have only 18 single crochets in round 15. Now also make sure you have only 18 single crochets in round 16 and 17 as well. Okay, and so there's 17 and 18 single crochets, and then make sure your 18th is above the stitch marker. And that completes round 15, and I'll meet you back here for round 18. In round 18, we're going to single crochet into the next single crochet, and then we're going to single crochet two together. We're going to repeat this six times for a total of 12 single crochets. Okay, so starting on round 18, we're going to single crochet into the next stitch, and then in the, ne the next stitch, we're going to single crochet two together. So there's your single crochet decrease. We're going to go ahead and single crochet into the next stitch and then single crochet decrease again. We're just going to continue to follow this pattern around. So one single crochet, one single crochet decrease, one single crochet, one single crochet decrease, one single crochet, single crochet two stitches together or single crochet decrease single crochet and then place one more single crochet decrease and that will end up being right over your stitch marker and that will be the end of round 18. Okay so now continue stuffing the mouse firmly so again, go ahead and grab your stuffing and just stuff it firmly, as firmly as you can get it. You don't want to stuff it so firmly that you can see holes in your work, but just stuff it firmly enough that 
it's it's probably going to take a lot more than what you think. So again, just stuff it as firmly as you can without seeing any holes in the mouse. Okay, so this is what my mouse looks like now that I have them stuffed. You want to stuff them again pretty firmly, but you don't want to see any holes. Round 19, we're going to single crochet in each single crochet around, leaving 12 single crochets. Okay, so this round is really simple. Again, we're just going to single crochet in each single crochet around. So there's one. Now this will be a little bit harder because you do have the stuffing in your mouse. So just press the stuffing down as you crochet around and pretty soon you'll get the hang of it and it's not too bad. So I am speeding up the track just a little bit because this is a very simple round. You just crochet one in each stitch around. And then make sure you end right above the stitch marker. And again, make sure there are 12 single crochets all together. That's the end of round 19. In round 20, we're going to single crochet two together or single crochet decrease, whichever you'd like to call it. We're going to repeat this six times for a total of six single crochets. So there's one single crochet decrease, two single crochet decreases, There's three, four, five, and I'm taking my stitch marker out because this is going to be my last single crochet decrease, and this is going to be the end of our mouse. So there's our sixth single crochet decrease and the end of round 20. Okay, so now we're going to slip stitch into the next single crochet and fasten off. Okay, so go ahead and slip stitch into the next single crochet. So just grab the yarn, pull it through the stitch and the loop on your hook. Make sure you cut the tail end, leaving a few inches. You probably want to leave about five or six inches just so that way you can weave that in later. And then just fasten it off. All you're going to do is just grab the, the yarn around your hook and then pull it right through the loop on your hook. Pull it all the way through and then tighten it. Then go ahead and just squeeze the stuffing around your mouse so that way it will fill out. And that's your mouse's body. Okay, I'm going to take a minute and just kind of show you how to weave in your tail end. Go ahead and thread your yarn needle and stitch through round 20 to close the gap. So just go back and forth. Just weave that tail end back and forth and close that gap. And then I would just weave it through the stitches back and forth and whatever you feel comfortable. Take your scissors and just cut the tail end off. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the ears. Okay, in round one with color A, start with a magic ring or circle. Place six single crochets into the ring. Join by using a slip stitch into the first single crochet. And this will be a total of six single crochets. Okay, so what I'm going to do is show you how to make one ear, and then I'm going to let you make the other ear on your own. And if you need to, you can just rewind this tutorial and watch it again to make the second ear if you need to. Okay, so starting out with one ear, go ahead and make a magic circle. Now, I don't really explain how to do the magic circle because there's kind of a lot to it. So if you don't know how to do it, go to my magic circle tutorial, and I'll explain it better there. So go ahead and just make your magic circle. And when you're ready, Go ahead and place six single crochets into your magic circle. So there's one, two single crochets, three, four, five, and six. And then go ahead and pull your magic circle closed. Okay, and now you just slip stitch into the next single crochet, yarn over the hook, pull through the stitch and through the loop, and there's your first round completed. Round two, place two single crochets in each single crochet around for a total of 12 single crochets. Okay, so first of all, make sure you have your stitch marker in place, and then go ahead and enter two single crochets in each stitch around. So there's one single crochet, two, and that's in the first stitch, 
In the second stitch, there's three and four. In the third stitch, there's five and six. In the fourth stitch, there's seven and eight. Nine and ten. And the last stitch, eleven and twelve. So there's eleven. I'm going to remove my stitch marker, it's just a little bit easier for me. So 11 and 12. And then don't forget to put your stitch marker back in after you're finished. And that completes round two. Okay, in round three, we're going to single crochet into the next single crochet. And then we're going to place two single crochets into the next single crochet. And we're go going to repeat this six times for a total of 18 single crochets. Okay, so in round two, in the first stitch, go ahead and only place one single crochet. So there's one single crochet in the next stitch we're going to place two. So one, two, and this is going to be our pattern all the way around. So just one single crochet, and then two single crochet into the next stitch. And then one single crochet again. Two into the next stitch. one, and then two, one again, and then two, one, and then two. And that's completing round two. Round four, we're going to single crochet in each single crochet around for a total of 18 single crochets. Okay, so this will be our last round and it's going to be very easy. We're just going to single crochet in each stitch around. So there's our second single crochet. There's three single crochet. There's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and then 18 over the stitch marker. And that's one ear completed. Now to finish the ear, leave a 10 inch tail for weaving and fasten off. Grab your scissors and leave about a 10 inch tail and make your cut. Now to fasten off, all you need to do is just grab the tail end, pull it right through the loop, and pull it all the way through the loop and fasten it off by just pulling it tightly. Okay, so you're still gonna have your tail end in the back, so go ahead and thread that through your yarn needle and just start weaving in and out of those back stitches. And as soon as you feel comfortable, just cut the remaining tail off. Now that you've finished both ears, I'm going to show you how to attach the ears to both sides of the mouse head. Okay, I'm going to show you the top part of the mouse's body. It's right here, it's right where the ridge is. And as I turn my mouse, I'm gonna show you where the nose is located, it's right there. And right where my thumbs are located right now, that's about where I'm going to place the ears. So I'm going to just show you how to sew on one ear and you can do the other ear on your own. So about right there is where I'm going to place the ear. I'm going to weave it in and out of the body and in and out of the ear. In and out. And I'm just gonna keep doing that over and over again until I feel like it's safe to cut the tail end off. So again, I'm just kind of weaving in and out of the body and in and out of the ear. And I'm gonna do that uh, probably six or seven times before I cut that tail end off. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly show you what my mouse looks like now that I have both ears sewn on. And you can sew your ears wherever you'd like. If you don't like them where I've done it, you can just kind of have fun and do whatever you like. 
Okay, so we're going to move on to the mouse tail. We're going to attach a slip knot into the tail end of the mouse and chain 15. Okay, so go ahead and find the back of your mouse and enter your hook into one or two stitches in the very back of the mouse. So now we're going to place a slip knot into those stitches. So yarn over your hook and pull through the stitches. And then go ahead and grab both the tail end and the working end of yarn. And we're going to go ahead and chain over both of these. And we're going to go ahead and chain 15. So there's one, two, and three. And notice I'm crocheting over both the tail end and working end. So there's four, five. Now pretty soon it's gonna get hard to keep crocheting over the tail end. So don't worry about crocheting over it the whole time. So just do as much as you can. So I'm gonna actually drop mine and I'm just gonna keep crocheting. So there's six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Okay. Okay, so when you're ready, grab your scissors and make a cut to leave about mm, maybe five or six inches left on that tail end. And what I'm going to do is just fasten off. So pull that tail end through the loop on your hook and tighten it all the way. And that will fasten it off. Now, when you're ready, take your yarn needle Thread that tail end and just go up and down the chain. Back and forth, weave in and out of the stitches. And make sure you go back and forth, so you go one direction. And then make sure you go the other direction to lock in that weave in that tail end. Now also make sure to weave in the other tail end as well. So you'll have another one going the other direction, the one that we didn't finish chaining. And again, just make sure you go back and forth Go one way through the chain. And then when you're ready, go the opposite way. Now when you feel comfortable with that, take your scissors and just snip that tail end right off. And that is how you do the tail. With color B, stitch in the eyes and nose. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly show you how I do my eyes and nose, and you can kind of just be creative and do it however you would like. But just remember the nose is at the tip of the face and the eyes are right by the ears. So basically I'm just weaving my black yarn in and out of the, the stitches where I would like my nose to be. And later I'm going to do exactly the same thing with my eyes, except I'm going to make them much smaller. Now I'm weaving my yarn in and out of the stitches enough that I don't have to worry about the tail ends. When I'm finished, I'll just cut them. Okay, so moving ahead, this is what my finished mouse looks like. I'm also going to show you a second mouse that I did. And this is actually the mouse that's in the original picture that you've seen. And you will notice that they're both a slightly different color of gray, so it just depends on what gray you choose. These are both gray, they're just slightly different. So it's just kind of up to you on what you like. Now to find the written pattern, go to the link in the description box below this video. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have fun making this mouse and have a great day.